have a relative who has lost his vision due to corneal deformities. It happened almost all of a sudden without any warning. It devastated him and he is currently waiting for a corneal transplant. I would like to know how a corneal transplant can help him and how to go about it. To take care of that, we do what we call as cornea transplantation. So if the front part of the cornea is bad, we remove the front part and we change it with a different front part which is taken from a donor cornea. If the back part of the cornea is bad, then we remove the bad part and change it with the new, bad pa new uh, back part of the cornea. If full corneal thickness is bad, then we change it with the full corneal thickness, take it from the donor cornea and change it. Now this is where the role of eye donation becomes very crucial and important because these corneas, these corneas which we use to change a diseased cornea are taken from people who die. When a person dies, we have a window of around 6 to 7 hours in which we can remove the person's cornea and then use that cornea to change the pers other person who requires a cornea transplant. So you know this is the beauty of eye donation that when one person dies and allows their eyes to be donated then that person actually gives light to two different people because from each eye we can take a cornea and use it for two different people. Now in India though we are uh, you know the second most populous country in the world but we have the maximum shortage of cornea. What I mean by that is that people who need cornea transplantation far outnumber the, peop the people who are actually donating cornea today. And the reasons for that could be numerous. One of the common reasons is the myths that people carry related to cornea transplantation. Some people believe that if they donate the cornea of a dead person, then in the next life they will be born without an eye. Well, that's not true and this is just a religious myth that some of us carry. What we need to remember is that when one person die and donate cornea, they give vision to two people. The second common reason for which people don't donate is that they feel that a person has XYZ diseases, so this cornea cannot be used for another person. Well, yes, there are certain diseases where we will not be able to use a person's cornea for another person, but most of the time those diseases are far and few. And even if we are not able to use those corneas, to transplant for another cornea, we can always use it for research and to advance science. In India, we have rules around cornea transplantation. We should get permission from next of the kin. When I say next of the kin, it could be a wife for a husband or a husband for a wife. It could be son and daughter. It could be parents if there is a kid. So there is a permission issue that is required. Even if I want to donate my cornea today and I enroll myself for eye donation when I die, this does not automatically mean that my eyes will be donated. If my next of kin, whether my husband, my children, my parents, if they refuse to donate my eyes when I die, then I still, those eyes still cannot be used for someone else. So yes, pledging your eyes today is important, but what is also important is that you should make your near ones aware that you want to, you want to donate your eyes when you die, so that when that happens, they can take care of your wishes and don't allow their own prejudice and their biases to come in the way of your desire of wanting to donate your eyes when you die.